For nature lovers, no visit to Auckland is complete without a trip out to Teri Teri Mātangi. It is regarded by many as the holy grail of New Zealand's wildlife, and when you make the trip, you understand why. I gotta get away sometimes Oh yeah I got to get away I gotta slip away sometimes Oh yeah I got to slip away To my special place I woke up, yeah, on a cloudy day We've got this island so close to Auckland, and even now people don't even realise this island's here, and it's just a different world here. The noise is mainly birds, and it's just such a fantastic spot. And, yeah, it's just a privilege to be here. And I just think it makes everybody realise just what we've lost on the mainland too. I mean, our dawn chorus is just fantastic here. We've introduced a lot of bird species, obviously. There was the red-crowned parakeet was the first, and then from then on we've had North Island Robins and Whitehead and of course the stitch birds and the Kokako. I've often said to people if you're having marriage problems go and see the Kokako, watch how they treat one another. All year round they're so faithful to one another, you'll see them preening all year round oh. so they're looking after one another, they talk to one another, just, just amazing. Because I work with birds like the Saddleback and Kokako I think I've got a bit of a soft spot for them. Our oldest saddleback, she was 21 when she died, and I think that's the oldest saddleback they ever had, and she was on her third partner oh, when yeah. she died. And normally you say with saddleback, the male and female look very similar, but in theory the male's meant to have the bigger wattles. But in her case, of course, she was such a big, solid bird. I mean, she was bigger than her mates. <laughs> yeah, she and our oldest boss. male, he was 18 when he died, so quite long-lived yeah. birds. They're such busy, busy birds, and they're bouncing around all over the place, and they sort of roar up to you, roar away, they're not sort of frightened, which is probably why they don't survive on the mainland either. So they're a member of the wattle family, which is unique to New Zealand. I mean, your kokako, your saddleback, and of course the sadly extinct huia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's why it's really important to keep the saddlebacks, yeah. or teeke is the Maori term for them. And that teeke, teeke, that's part of the call. <laughs> you get that from. And we've got three different dialects on the island. <laughs> Our ones in Lighthouse Valley sound different to the ones through here, and they're different to the ones up in Wattle Valley. We had six pairs and 12 younger birds, and when they got to Terry, there was so much real estate here, they started breeding like crazy. I mean, four eggs in a clutch four times a season. As they've filled the territories up, they've just automatically cut down on their breeding, and now they only breed, you know, one or two clutches a season, two eggs in each clutch on the whole. Oh, so they've so, matched in with the yeah, they're with working their with the environment, yes. How many are here now? Uh, quite a few hundred. We've done so well with the saddleback that we've actually been in a position where we've exported them to other islands like Motuhehe, um, Makoya Island, um, Karori Wildlife Sanctuary in Wellington. I gotta get away sometimes. Oh, yeah. I gotta get away. 